Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be exploring how to add a user feedback features in your Flutter app. So today we are diving into Wiredash, a package that makes it simple for users to give a detailed feedback right within your app. Imagine your users being able to take screenshots, draw on them, and also send their thoughts instantly. That's exactly what we'll be setting up. So by the end of this video, you know how to implement this cool feature that can really improve your app user experience. So with that said, let's jump right in. So this is the wire dash package you can capture in app user feedback as you can see over here you can get direct user feedback from within your app with a screenshot and tags so the integration is pretty much simple over here you need to create an account and a project on wire dash console and after that you can add it to your password.yml file wrap it within your root widget with the wire dash package and you can learn the feedback flow so that's pretty much it by calling the wire dash dot of content dot show and that will trigger the feedback flow everything is being handled by them so this is their console i already have a project created called edu n right so i'll choose that and you can see i've submitted three feedbacks over here for some trials and there's a lot to this right with the settings you can have access to the project id over here and also the sdk secret key right you will preserve so this is the console for a particular project so within the project over here First of all, in your passport.yml file, make sure you have that package being added, right? So, in your passport.yml file, you can see the wire dash package I just added over here. Um, yeah, that's found over here, right? So, once you've added to your passport.yml file, you need to move into your main app, wrap it within your root, right? And provide it the project ID and also the secret key. So, once you have that provided, the last thing you need to do is to um, launch the core, right? So over here, you can see the support and feedback. That's where I want to have that functionality. You can see the in call with the on tab functionality. So I can call the wire dash dot of context dot show. And that's pretty much it. You can have the wire dash functionality. Yeah, so let's give it a try right here. I'll move on to my settings page. And that's where I add the functionality, the customer support page. And click on that. You can see the beautiful UI. You can send your feedback. So this input. Is where you can describe your error right this input allows you to describe your error the user and can proceed next it if it involves any screenshots you can add a screenshot over here and it has a nice way navigating through your app right you can see you can show the specific page where i'm exactly facing the error so i'll choose one of these here the input field right so i can capture this page so you can show the specific page right by choosing the color and drawing can see how cool this is so you can save the changes you can add multiple screenshots over here you can proceed to the next one you can provide your email over here so they can get directly in contact with you that's optional as well so proceed to the next and you submit your feedback so that is basically it so if you find this to be useful consider subscribing like and share see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned